So I've had about a month now to uh, live with and check out the ABC matting. Uh, and this is my take on them. It would apply to any of the other sort of puzzle punch out mats. I've seen trains and dinosaurs, flowers, shapes, etc, etc. Um, so on the pro side, they are adorable. They're cute. They're colorful. They look like a ton of fun. They are flexible. Uh, you can see here that I had at least originally spelled out their names in the middle and put everything else sort of at random on either side of that. So you're not stuck to a traditional ABC format. Uh, and it comes with, most of them do come with a flat edge so that you don't have this puzzle border thing going on if that's what you prefer. Um, and it works well like any other foam mat to minimize bumps and bruises as they're learning to crawl, walk, stand, jump, fight, whatever. Um, however, you probably can tell already I've run into some trouble. Uh, on the con side, little fingers have no trouble ripping these up. Uh, we're up to five now today, and I'm fixing these every day. And sometimes husbands don't put letters back in the right order, which isn't a problem of the mats so much as, you know, husbands. Um, so if you're doing a quick wipe down every day, it isn't so bad because you can sort of leave them together, take your cloth, wipe them down. However, if you're doing a good thorough clean on them, which you're going to want to do on occasion, you have to punch out all of the parts, wash everything individually, air dry them and find the space to air dry them. Put them all back together. It took me at least 45 minutes to wash these. Then it takes probably at least half an hour to put them back together. It's too time consuming when I got twins. I don't necessarily have that kind of time to, uh, devote to putting these mats, cleaning them and putting them back together. Uh, they're generally fairly well fitting considering they're all cut out of different, obviously different pieces of foam. Uh, but some letters, especially uh, the O I find and some of the inserts on like the six and the nine can be really tricky to get those fitting back together correctly. And in the case of my O, I've tried twisting it every which way. It does not fit tight at all. Well, it fits fairly tight, but it's not tight the whole way around, no matter where it is. I've tried twisting it every which way. Um, another problem I have is the small tile size. So these are about a foot by a foot. Uh, that's more cracks for stuff to get stuck in and more fatigue points possible. Uh, so what happens is I've had these given to me. So I've had a, another, at least one more families use them before me. But as time goes on, they like to separate and stuff like that so that they don't fit together quite as well as they used to, which is just more places for, uh, I don't know, snacks, dirt, grime, what have you to get stuck in there, meaning that you're definitely going to need to pull them apart and clean them more often. Um, a new set of mats, new set of mats might still have these problems. They might not. I'm not hundred percent sure, uh, but I do find the smaller scale just has more fatigue points on it and that the corners and edges certainly by this point in time don't always fit as well as I'd like. As a final thought, as a daily play mat, like I've been trying to use them at this stage, they're about nine months and their paws are getting into everything. Uh, just not the ideal use for these mats. I plan to replace them with a larger scale puzzle mat, uh, probably about a two foot by two foot size, which means instead of 36 little mats running around here. I'm going to have, I think it's nine mats. They're going to be a lot quicker, a lot easier to clean, a lot easier to deal with. Um, as far as future use on these mats, I plan on keeping them. I can see them as an excellent learning tool in the future. Hi. I think they'll be an excellent learning tool in the future. You have a couple different options. You can leave them together with their letters inside and say, you know, go lay them out. You can punch out the letters, already place the, pu the outer pieces down, punch out the letters, let them put the letters back in like a regular puzzle. Uh, you get the idea. You got a bunch of different options you can do with them later and I plan to keep them for later. I think they can be a really good, fun, large scale learning tool. But as far as my everyday play mat, I am not happy with them. And neither is Calvin. You want a new play mat? Yeah.
anyway, that's my take. They're just not the right, they're not the right mat for what I need right now. Uh, maybe if your baby, baby or babies, you know, don't pot them quite as much as mine do and rip them apart, it's not such a problem. But mine are ripping them apart on a daily basis. So it's time to get some new mats. Well, hope this helped you out and make a decision. Uh, and good luck. Mmm, tasty play mat. Yum, yum.